It's Friday, January 14th here in Seoul. Hey everyone, it's Debbie from Korea Now, and these are your daily headlines. North Korea warned of a stronger reaction after the U.S. slapped new sanctions on the regime following its latest missile launches. In a statement carried by the KCNA, the North's foreign ministry said the recent missile testing was an exercise of right to self-defense and accused Washington of intentionally escalating the situation. This came after the U.S. imposed new sanctions on six North Koreans involved in the regime's weapons program on Wednesday, after Pyongyang conducted two missile tests in less than a week. U.S. Secretary of State Tony Blinken said North Korea might be trying to get attention through the missile launches, but they are still in violation of multiple U.N. sanctions. He went on to say the U.S. and its allies are focused on making sure there will be repercussions and consequences for these actions by North Korea. A plane carrying dozens of South Koreans returned home from Kazakhstan, which has been gripped by violent political turmoil. The Asiana Airlines flight touched down at the Incheon International Airport on Thursday night, carrying 43 South Koreans and four Kazakh nationals. The plane had been stranded in the Kazakh capital since it landed there on January 5th when protesters took control of its main gateway. The Almaty Airport resumed normal operations on the 13th. The European Commission has vetoed Hyundai Heavy Industries' proposed acquisition of its smaller rival Teo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering on concerns that the deal would hurt competition. The EU antitrust regulator said the merger could lead to a monopoly in the liquefied natural gas carrier market, as the combined market share of the two Korean shipbuilders would rise to at least 60%. With that, Hyundai's planned takeover of Teo has now been blocked three years after it was first announced. The South Korean government said it regretted the EU decision and that it will continue efforts to up the competitiveness of domestic shipbuilding industry and help normalize tail shipbuilding. And those are your top stories. For full-length articles, you can go to our official website, link down below. As always, make sure to subscribe to Korea Now for more daily updates.